and dimensional weight. That's another thing that came about. And most people know about that. And they understand that dimensional weight is, um, can, can really affect you. If you've got a lightweight product that's large, it's going to cost you more. Mm -hmm. You can have a pillow that costs that, that is six pounds, but because of dimensional weight, meaning it's got a much larger size, it's going to take more room in this, in the, the warehouse, uh, it's going to, or and also in the trucks when they ship them out, it's going to, let's say something that's six bucks could be billed at 20 bucks, mm -hmm. a pillow, for example. Uh, so finding ways to reduce that. We're seeing a lot more vacuum packed things. We're seeing a lot, uh, maybe if you put your bundles in a box, maybe you can figure out how to shrink wrap it. And that's, we're doing a lot of work on that. Right now, we've got a, a new free tool coming out called the product resizer, which will do those calculations to figure out what your opportunities are. Are you able to reduce by weight? Are you able to reduce by size? Uh, the biggest opportunity that we're seeing when we look at these things is that your some products are just, let's say, a quarter inch off from being into the lower, lower sized tier because of dimensional weight. And that's not something that people look at very often. So there's huge opportunity to reduce your, your, uh, your fees at, at a minimum by 16 cents per unit with mm -hmm. dimensional weight adjustments. Yeah. Paying attention to those sizing tiers and how like uh, li literally like one inch can make a difference. And if yeah. you're oversizing your packaging um, just slightly to where mm -hmm. if you're looking at packaging in a way that you can take an inch off of each side, that could literally save you a dollar or two more per unit if you're yeah. paying attention to that.